Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will look at reviving a dying anthurium. So sometimes you would have noticed that the anthurium tends to become taller, giving out many aerial roots that jut outside the soil. After this happens, the leaves start stunting and reducing in numbers and the blooms don't appear. This is the plant telling you that it needs to be repotted and without which the plant may not survive. The anthuriums in nature are epiphytic plants that grow on tree barks and that's the story behind these aerial roots. These aerial roots help with moisture, fertilizer absorption and to cling on to the host tree. So when you see your anthurium doing this, you have to repot this into a bigger container or grow this in a new pot and try submerging the aerial roots. So here is a live demo. Hello everyone. So it's a very bright sunny day and I thought that I would fix this little anthurium plant. And you can see how bad it looks. All the leaves have dried but then there are some green shoots. You can see this. There are some green shoots. So this can be fixed and we will be fixing it right now. So first let us take this out from this container and check its roots. So you can see these are the roots and you, you can see that there are a lot of bald spots here and there's more soil here. So because of this, it's it was struggling. So we need to repot this and it's also pot bound, right? See, look at the roots. It's pot bound, it's encircling itself. So we need to detangle all these things a little. Don't be too harsh on your anthurium, it's quite sensitive. So let's detangle this a little. Yeah. Let's take another container. So I have this container, a bigger container than the earlier one. You can look at the size. So I had this earlier container with some charcoal pieces and uh, things like that. This this actually had an anthurium which unfortunately died. So I'm using the same medium inside. So the best medium for anthuriums, I've already explained that to you. There is a video that I've done and you can find the video link above. So things like broken crocs, and then things like coconut husks and things like that, you can add as much as you can. But don't stuff it so that the plant does not get any space. Ensure that there is enough space for the plant as well as the potting mix that will go inside now. So first check the level. It's tilted. So let me take it out and fix this. This is much better. This is much better. The level is also good. You can see the level. You can take off all these old dead leaves. Yeah, don't break these leaves. It's very important that these leaves exist. You can add all the dead leaves back into the pot. Okay, so once that is done, now you can add a good mix of coco peat. A good mix of coco peat and compost. Ensure that there's no air gap and the entire space is filled with potting mix. Now the only thing left is to water this and then keep it under shade. You're not supposed to keep this under full sun. 
you have to keep this under shade. Some people have this misconception that, oh, these are flowering plants or so flowering plants require full sun. Actually not. This requires partial sunlight and a good amount of watering. Not too much, not too less. And fertilizing is not really required. Like I said, fertilizing uh, may not give you the blooms uh, as much as you want. It might increase the leaves and the leaf size and things like that. But flowering may reduce. So you can use compost once in three months and that would do. Or you can use kitchen scraps, banana peels and things like that. No problem. Okay. So that is it. We will now water this plant and we will wait and watch. But since I have uh, planted this container now, so I'll be giving it that initial boost of nutrient with some seaweed solution. So I've added two, three drops of seaweed solution into this container and I'll be adding that. Drench it thoroughly. That is it. If you want to take cuttings from this and grow a new plant, you can do that too. So I must add here that both these plants in the demo video did not survive, but another anthurium of which I hadn't taken a video did survive. And here it is. I guess what I did right with this one is that I gave it a more east sunlight exposure and morning sunlight is great for plant propagations since it is neither too harsh nor too feeble. And that probably worked its magic. And these two were kept under this shade, so that's my observation. But that is life. Things that work, work, but things that don't work will teach you something and that's the important lesson. So with this, we've come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you enjoyed this particular program. Additionally, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. And always remember, to grow slow is to grow well. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.